So welcome everybody. We are in uh, session number three of uh, our class and we work on uh, bug reporting today um, going deeper into the bug reporting uh, process, uh, into the bug reporting rules, uh, getting better idea of usability and uh, user interface uh, testing. And um, I am reminding you one more time that to get a job, you need three things. You need to know how to do test cases, which is coming. You need to know how to do bug reporting. That is what we do. And you need to be able to talk about the projects which are in your resume. So, and we will practice that part later on. So today we are focusing on uh, uh, bug reporting and I have our um, notepad uh, which begins with some general information. So guys, uh, uh, that, uh, session three is the last session which is a trial session. But um, some of you already paid uh, the tuition, some will pay later on. Those who paid the tuition, okay? So you might, uh, you, you have access to the uh, class page. You have access to the class page. Those who didn't pay yet, um, you can go to session four on the, um, on the page we are using. Look at that. Uh, uh, we have session four. I did uh, play session four here, so you can you can prepare to the session four, which is uh, going to be uh, on Thursday thirteenth. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now um, to pay the tuition, um, you go to that page or you use that button uh, on that uh, online home page. So you go to that page and. To us, the best thing you can do is to use Zelle. Here is the account. Uh, Swift, if you are overseas. Uh, PayPal, wherever you are on the map. Here is the address. Um, then credit cards, Google Pay, um, and so on. So it is charging kind of um, higher commissions, but it's it's fine, guys. It, it is really fine. Um, so that is how you pay um but it's not enough to pay when you pay you, you register as well because unless you register i cannot give you access uh, to the class page i cannot give you access to the class page let's do that exercise here is your class page here it is okay january 6 2022 let's do that exercise we will send that link to to the people who already paid the tuition i said okay guys um i'm not sure how many out of 44 of you are now in the classroom but please uh try to open that page are you able to to see what's on that page because that page has all the sessions number four four five six i mean 20 sessions on it and the project and i mean lots of different things that is the complete class page um so guys i'm i'm asking those in the final group if you are able to see the page yes so why it happens because when i put people in the uh, final uh, chat I also give them author uh, the authorization for uh, being able to, to view the page. So uh, to, uh, for me to give you the authorization, you have to create an account. Okay, we see Alexander here who cannot see the page. Alexander, make sure you register. And if you are registered, and same with Mac Maxim, so if you are not registered, write to me directly in, in uh, Skype. So I go and uh, fix that stuff. So I give you the authorization. So some, some of you, uh, maybe um, I, I missed because of whatever reason. Sometimes you pay the money. I cannot identify who you are in Skype or who you are um, in the registration systems. It, it might happen as well. It is open enough. Good. So some... If you don't have it, the question number one is, did you register? If you registered, 
It means you are not authorized. You contact me, you tell me, Michael, authorize my account, and then uh, we'll do it. So coming back to, to the notes, um, here is your class page, and that is the video page, video archive page. If you if your account is authorized, you can see everything. You can see uh, previous classes, you can see future classes, you can see all the uh, information we have for you here. Now, it is not enough just to pay. You also have to register, okay? I would say 30% of you, after you pay, you, you do not register. So I have to remind you uh, every time, register, register, register. Otherwise, you will not have the access. Um, now, guys, uh, people who are in the extra group, people who are repeating the class, uh, here is what we have. Um, I have the final uh, chat, yes? Uh, final, yes, it's final, January 6, 2022, final. I also have January 6, 22, final, informal. There is nobody there yet. There is nobody there yet. So, guys, uh, to get into that uh, chat, uh, if you are in the final, uh, so I'll give you the link how to self-register. If you are in the extra class, if you are repeating the class, you tell me, I want in the informal, January 6th final informal, and I will manually add you there, okay? And uh, when, you, uh, when you want us to do something, guys, you do that in the Portnov online Skype account. I have another one, which is M Portnov, which is my personal one. I used, to, I used to use both. Most of you are connected to Portnoff Online, but now I have an assistant. I have Irina, who will be taking much better care of you. Uh, so, because that is her only job is to communicate with you. And uh, so when you go to Portnoff Online, we have two people there taking care of you. So if you want to go to some group, if you, if you have any issue, any question, any administrative or whatever thing, go to Portnoff Online. Okay, go to Portnoff Online. So, if you want there, you have to request to be placed in that group. So, uh, in the informal chat, uh, which we use in between session, so we want everybody to be there. The final chat is uh, used only by people who belong to that specific class. And informal, final informal is used by everybody who is in that class, uh, including the um, graduates of previous classes. Uh, so far, so far, do you understand what are, are you with me? Uh, lesson for home assignment. What about the book chapters we need to read? Which book is it? Uh, the book is called uh, Software Testing, and I would ask someone, whoever has the book, guys, uh, just uh, put, it, put the file into the chat so everybody can share. Um, so we have time to pay till Thursday. Yes, to get to the session four, you, you have to pay first. And guys, uh, you cannot tell me I just paid five minutes before the class. So. I, I won't be able to, to handle the payment. So if you really want to be in the class, make the payment at least, at least one hour prior uh, to 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific uh, time. Yeah? Prior, uh, one hour prior uh, to the class beginning. Because some people, some people say, like one minute before the class begins. Guys, I cannot do it, guys. Can you add me? I paid. I can but not right now. So you write to, to me, to us, in the Portnoff Online uh, Skype account, and we do it. I mean, it takes one second. Uh, when is the final payment? Uh, the thing here is, uh, in the ideal world, uh, we want your payment to be here one hour prior uh, to the session four, uh, to the time it, it begins. On the other hand, uh, you might pay Friday and Sunday and Saturday. I mean, you, you can pay in two weeks 
um, the only complication here is uh, you you're going to be missing uh, those sessions, so you would have to take care uh, of recovering uh, that stuff later on. Uh, we have people sometimes who join the class one month after uh, we finalize the enrollment. It, it happens. I'm, I'm not saying there is a crowd of people like that, but I can tell you in the previous class, we had 40 people, 40, who registered and paid after the session three. So there is no limit, actually. It just, it just limits uh, which sessions you have access to uh, live and uh, which sessions you would have to do using the recordings. Can you add me on the final I just paid? Joseph, I'll I'll be more than happy to, but we have 211 people in the class. So I just don't want to do that right now. Um, because before I add you to the final, I have to go find your payment, uh, identify you. And I mean, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, <laughs> register where? I just gave a link. What do you mean? Um, I mean, it's kind of... Register here, yeah. You register here. Here is the link. Um, if if somehow you don't know, you can ask uh, in the chat. If if uh, there is no help in the chat, you can ask uh, ask us directly um, on that Portnoff online account. We we are waiting for you asking questions there. Irina says, why they do not ask questions? I don't know. I mean, they don't know about you waiting for questions. Yeah? Okay. Um, uh, uh, it says order received. Will it be sent to my email to actually complete payment? I don't know what 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 exactly which system you use. So uh, order received. I don't I don't even know what you use. Uh, so if you use PayPal, it comes within one second. If you use Zelle, it comes within one second. If you use credit card, it still comes almost immediately. Um, Google Pay, same thing. Um, sometimes uh, the bank or payment system might uh, put it on hold. So then it will tell you it is on hold. It happens rarely. Um, register where? Yeah, here is the link. Good. So we have lots of knowledgeable people here. Here is to register. Here is the link to the book. I don't know why the book. Anybody asks? I don't know. Uh, Mikhail, can we look again uh, your webinar, which was some days ago on YouTube? Uh, I mean, definitely we... Uh, going back um, to your um, going back to your uh, home class uh, class page. Okay, session number one. Okay, session number one, uh, January six. Here is the webinar. Here is the webinar. The video. Here are the notes. Yeah, the whatever I was typing, and here is my voice. Uh, in the, in the form of a text, my voice in the form of a text. Then session two. Here is the webinar video. Here is the notes I take I, I make, and here is the text file with the um, text file with the uh, my whatever I was saying. If you go to the um, if you go to the webinar, by the way, if you go to the webinar, at least session one, at least session one, already comes with um, already comes with uh, subtitles. You say uh, here uh, subtitles English. Yeah, okay. Let's say English. Okay, English, not auto-generated, just English. Look at that. Look at the subtitles.
So we have brilliant, we have brilliant subtitles. We can do them in uh, uh, Russian if you want to. Uh, somehow it does Russian for 50 minutes and then it turns to English uh, again. But uh, I, I don't think you really need Russian uh, subtitles. I just played with that stuff, uh, having the February 7th class in mind, where we address that class to the people who live in countries of former Soviet Union, so Russian-speaking people. So I said, okay, let's do that support. But um, in case you want to, I don't know, uh, in case you might need that stuff. Um, so let's go back to your um, questions. Um, can I have receipt for payment? Normally, uh, your payment system uh, gives you the receipt. But if you want us to do that, we, we can try. Yeah, why not? I mean, I don't think it is uh, impossible. It might take five minutes, but it, it is doable. Uh, uh, here is a proposal for you to think about. Can we start the class as soon as you start webinar and after class you answer uh, all these same questions? <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, my profile don't have session. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's go to the um, let's go to the session to the um, uh, topic. So we talk about uh, bug reporting, and um, the reason we started to to do it is uh, uh, because I want in the very beginning of the session tell you about the timings, uh, pages, registration, payment, so on. So, which is not supposed to take you know, that much time. Now, guys, um, when it comes to um, software usability, we have two things. We have software usability and we have usability testing. Testing. Um, so, the general idea of usability is convenience. Yeah. So, software usability refers to the quality of a user's experience. Um, user's experience, uh, quite often, it is, it, it is uh, kind of abbreviated as UX, UX design, user experience. When interacting with websites, software devices, or applications, usability is about effectiveness, efficiency, and the overall satisfaction of the user. How convenient it is, how happy you are with the stuff. That is usability. Um, usability is not exactly subjective matter. Uh, usability could be measured. For example, how much time a user needs to uh, find how to send an email. So you have a group of people and um, you ask them to send an email. And then there are devices. I, I, I participated in testing like that many years ago. And they come, people, they are in business of ergonomics, if you, if you ever heard about this stuff, ergonomics. So they come, they have devices which track movements of eyeballs. And they give you some interfaces and they give you assignments. They say, uh, uh, send an email, uh, uh, open this, open that. And they have different categories of users. So usability is something which is measurable. It is science. It is not subjective stuff. It's not art. It is science. I just want you to understand. Usability is a science. Okay. Ergonomics is a science. Now, what is usability testing? In uh, usability testing, normally they would compare. Uh, different interfaces, different ways of doing things, and they do measurements. And they say, okay, that one is better based on measurements, kind of, that kind of thing. So, what is usability testing? And we give you a, a link to the page on the usability GOV uh, page where they talk about usability testing. So, we are in testing business, guys. Um, um, so. What does it say? Usability testing refers to evaluating a product or service by testing it with representative users. 
Guys, it is not QA people who are testing. We need representative users. Who are representative users? What do they represent? Uh, 15 people represent high school kids with certain level of computer experience. Another group of 15 people represents uh, city college students. Another group represents housewives. Another group represents different categories of users, whatever category you might be interested in. Okay. So it is not testers, it is representatives user, representative users, and we watch them, we measure them. Yeah. Typically, during usability, uh, during test, participants will try to complete typical tasks, while observers, you might be an observer, actually, you might be a part of that. Watch, listen, and take, take notes. Observers take notes, take notes. The goal is to identify any usability problem, some bottlenecks, so people, people get confused with something. Collect uh, qualitative and uh, quantitative data and determine the participant satisfaction with the product. So, guys, uh, thing number one, uh, it is not done by uh, QA um, engineers okay? or testers. It is not done, done by us. We participate, we facilitate, we uh, help to plan, but it is not what we do. Okay? Uh, the practical aspect of that, you do not want to see in your resume anything like uh, part, uh, kind of uh, types of test participate or proficient in regression, uh, whatever, uh, accept, build acceptance, blah, 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 usability testing. No, you are not proficient in usability testing. It's not what you do. Okay, So that, that is very important. It is not done by QA engineers. Good. Um, why we talk about usability? Because um, when you do user interface testing, we want you to isolate usability testing, which you do not do, from user uh, from uh, user interface testing, which you do. Okay, two different worlds. You do not mix them. Okay, we we want to clearly separate those two different worlds. Okay. Um, a few more things before we jump on uh, practical exercise. A bug. Uh, we, we gave you the definition, but I'm just reminding you the bug. Bug is a mismatch between actual and expected behavior of the application. Mismatch. So when you write a bug report, guys, when you write a bug report, uh, you write about the mismatch. Mismatch is the most important thing which you have to show in your bug report. You are not saying such and such application. Uh, does this okay. who cares i mean tell me what's wrong tell me what is the mismatch between what it does and what it should do then developer can go and and fix it mismatch is what you put in a bug report okay a good bug report is about mismatch not anything else um user interface bug is a mismatch between actual and expected look not behavior but the look or maybe usage of a design element. Okay? That is that is what user interface is, and we are practicing today in user interface bugs. The simplest, the mm, very common stuff which you would report eventually over time, along with uh, functionality problems. But functionality. Uh, to find functionality problems, you have to know about um, how the what the product does. To to report user interface issues, you really don't have to know anything about how it works. Uh, you just report um, things uh, which are wrong in how it looks. Okay, in the look, which is very easy. 
So are, are you with me, guys? Is it part of user acceptance test? No. No. Um, I, I mean, really, we, we, will, we will talk about all types of testing, guys. We, we really pay attention to that stuff. It has nothing to do with user acceptance test. Um, okay. Keep going. Rules of bug reporting. Um, yesterday, we mentioned three things, remember. So a rule of three Ws. So what happened, where it happened, under which circumstances. And circumstances normally are not uh, what's typical for a user interface bug report. Because user interface is stable. It's always there. Um, and the order of Ws could, could change. Um, so it doesn't have to be what happened and then where it happened. Could be in, in any order. Bug report could be of a solution type, which is preferred, or problem type, which is also good enough. And we also mentioned that inconsistency is a big time issue in um, user uh, interface and user experience. So uh, similar things, identical things should be consistent. So uh, inconsistency, even minor one, is a, is a good uh, reason to write a bug report. So many bug reports will be um, written because of uh, some inconsistencies. You might not know what is the right way of doing it, but definitely it is not consistent with this. Okay. Um, and uh, today, guys, we will work with uh, Tolia. If if we have some enthusiasm to go for more things. So I, I have some room for Energy Telecom. I keep seven bug reports, which we did yesterday. We, we might add more if you want to, but um, the Tolia, let's go to Tolia. Uh, Tolia um, has no functionality. I mean, the way, the way we use it, um, where it's, um, it is right here, yeah. So Tolia, uh, you can look at that pretty much as a picture. I mean, definitely you can type here. I mean, some some functionality is there, but um, it doesn't do anything. Uh, you might look, you might say, well, it's a picture. It's a picture. So guys, uh, we will go and see which bugs you find here. Originally, why we started to use that, um, uh, Tolia was a company purchased eventually by Oracle, and uh, they used to take our um, graduates, interns, and um, so Russian connections. So, and uh, when you come uh, to that company for uh, an interview, they give you that page, and they still give you that page. They are using that page. They give you that page, and the question is, uh, show me all the uh discrepancies all the problems all the issues which you can observe on that page and uh, honestly guys i personally know over 30 uh things which uh, could be fixed or should be fixed let's put it that way which deserve a bug report so um uh, you know the rules of graphic user interface, couple of those rules, couple, uh, six actually, six rules from the presentation, PowerPoint presentation uh, section, uh, session two. And then there are more than that. So, for example, um, look at that uh, invoice thing. It is misspelled. Guys, you don't have to know anything about uh, rules of graphic user interface. Or usability, or it is just not not correct. So you know that. So that is why instead of writing a limited number of bug reports, you might write numerous bug reports because there are many, 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 many different things which uh, are not okay on that page. So we go to the forum. Uh, uh, we go to that um, Tolia project and see. Uh, so, Alexander, okay, Alexander says number one, okay, mm, let's take one uh, for um, each person. So, uh, here is what Alexander says. He says, uh, I will 
may, I will put pounds in. Number one, there are 11 search results. Um, here, here is Tolia. There are 11 search results, but it should be 10 because it says results per page, it says 10. And instead of 10, it, it gives us 11 here. Um, so what is the bug report then? Um, there are 11 search results per page instead of 10 um, per page. I don't know about per page. I said on the page, uh, on the page uh, instead of 10 as per as per search my invoices search my invoices is here um search my invoices i do not understand results per page it says results per page here it's not search blah 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 10 is that is called results per page i just copy that to put it in the bug report so in as per uh as per uh, results per page, uh, uh, I think it's a list box, yeah? Yeah, it's a list box, list box. There are 11 search results on the page instead of, guys, you remember, bug report is about mismatch, mismatch. So in that regard, it's a perfect, uh, approach it says instead of we have this instead of that that is the ideal uh, structure of the bug report it does this instead of that so now developer knows uh, what to fix and where where the conflict happened so 11 search results on the page uh, um, just just 11 search results instead of 10 uh, as per results per page list box. Perfect, guys. Perfect bug report. I like it. I mean, good. It's good. So, uh, it was good. I just did a little bit of cleanup, guys. But the overall, the structure, 90%, it was there. Um, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you understand the changes which I made? why i made those little changes couple of little changes just few yeah yeah so um, just to clean up a little bit you know so it looks cleaner but uh, fundamentally it was it was good it already okay good let's say uh give hands to alexander let's go to DVI Dvit. Okay, let's say Dvit. Okay. Um, let's take that one. Um, if you look, guys, at the mm, oh God. Um, no, wait a second. God. Hey, I don't know where is the yeah Tolia. Okay. Uh, if you look at the search results table, the row number 11 here, something which shouldn't be here at all. Row number 11 is missing the actions button. So they all have actions button and that one does not. Which is partially, which is partially something related to the bug report we, we just did because uh, since it shouldn't be here at all, so but it is here. So now we can expect different complications of having something which shouldn't be there at all. So there might be multiple complications. And that is one of those. We do not have that actions button here. If that is what, what the report is about, let's see. Um, number two. So what we have? Result field. Missing action button. So there is no field here. It's a spreadsheet. It is a spreadsheet. So a result, a search results, 
That is a search results spreadsheet, basically, or table. You can call it table, but it's not a field, number one. Number two, um, what are we talking about? The action button is missing. Yeah, that is what happened. You remember what happened? Um, action button. Okay. What happened? Action button missing. Yeah. So what? Button missing. Where? Uh, action button missing. Uh, in row number 11 of the result uh, table, for example. Okay. Action button missing, uh, well, let's see, is missing. Yeah. Missing in row number 11 of the results table. Okay. File save. How do you know it is missing? Maybe it shouldn't be there. Consistency. It, it is inconsistent because each row has a button and that one doesn't have a button, which obviously is that inconsistency represents a problem. Okay, um, okay good. Um, so we can... Let's go for more uh, problems. Now we have Alexander. Um, uh, he, Alexander does his bug reports with steps to reproduce. And honestly, um, user interface bugs normally do not require any steps, especially steps as obvious, as trivial as uh, open such and such page. I mean, nobody needs, there is no value in that. See, I mean, you, you, uh, you spend your time, you spend our time, and you provide zero additional value. And then, what is actually your bug report? Yes, an open page, okay, open page. Start typing in voice number for search. You shouldn't type anything here. You shouldn't type anything. It is user interface testing. You do not type. Uh, basically, you're, you are doing that hands off. You're, you are doing it like that. You are not supposed to type anything anywhere. Okay. Um, open page again. Go to invoice number and fill in with only letters. Is it acceptable? You are not testing the functionality. You are testing the user interface, user interface. And uh, here, that is the assignment, okay? And then open that page, okay? Go to invoice number, fill it with numbers. Basically, uh, I don't know, I mean, is there any user interface bug which you can show us without me try, uh, spending uh, the rest of the day uh, identifying uh, if you do have at least one single uh, you know, user interface bug. It is not what, I mean, why? Um, uh, in uh, search, uh, missing button, okay. Okay, misspelled, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try. Something misspelled. Guys, you're gonna report Lots of things which are mis misspelled eventually. So let's do it. It's a common, very common bug report actually. So misspelled, misspelled um, uh, in the title column invoice. Um, mm, um I would I would do it this way. I would say replace invoice invoice okay in the in the uh invoice uh, um, column uh, title column title in the search results 
in the search results table with okay so um that is the solution bug report it says do this okay replace that stuff with that stuff okay again it might be done in in multiple ways just just the way i did it at the moment um okay nia data in the due date column is not in a date format okay let's take a look copy mm, uh, due date column yeah if you look at the due date column what you have here guys it doesn't look like a date what you see in the purchase order number those are dates september yeah that stuff looks like just whatever number like invoice number i don't know what what it is but definitely it is not a date and that is what nia says uh her bug report is about um data in the data is not in the date in the common okay common date form something we, we, we everybody is supposed to understand data in the due date for column is not good but the question is um are we pointing to the mismatch pretty much we are saying the data is not what we expect it to be yeah yeah it is it is yeah there is a mismatch here yeah i agree okay keep going then we have eugene uh here is 32 pages in the search results but navigations buttons for the pages are disabled next and previous buttons needed wow okay so we have okay, one more number five number five oh. <laughs> no not no money yet so just just number five uh, uh here are there okay let's say uh there uh, there are um 32 pages of search results how do we know Mm, okay 32 pages okay um let's say there are there are links yeah we don't know how many pages but we have just 32 links uh, two links two are uh, 32 pages of the search results but navigation button for the pages are disabled what do you mean Oh, I mean, you cannot click on it. You are not supposed to click on it. You are testing hands off. You just look, okay? Just the way it looks. When you look at the way it looks, uh, you have two things in mind. So it's not about functionality, not those things not functioning. Uh, but um, we have 32 pages now. I have two problems here. So obviously 32 pages is not enough to cover 422 invoices. Okay. Number one. Number two, uh, that uh, two, two dots here uh, are not three dots. So I would rather see three dots. I mean, to me, three dots is, uh, is common and two dots I've never seen anywhere but here. So my, my guess is uh one one more that will really make it nicer so uh, let's talk about more uh, important thing uh, first and the more important thing is uh, search results okay search results which is not enough to accommodate how many accommodate 422 uh 422 uh invoices 
so um, invoices um, number one and then uh, I mean number five and then number six I would say number six uh, I would say replace uh, replace two dots with uh, three dots uh, three dots um, mm, uh, between ten uh, between links to page ten and page twelve uh, below search results table where below a search results table what replace one with another one okay um uh, by the way that uh, number bug report number six is the first i reported that first time in my life i mean i've done that a lot but uh, it was just first time when it actually uh caught my attention okay so okay let me ask you guys are you with me are you participating okay link no number link to the page number five is missing yes but um, basically it is not where we report bugs uh, but uh, since um, you are talking about something we are doing at the moment okay let's make one more one more bug report so we have pages one two three four and link to the page five is missing okay let's let's do it here okay number seven number seven so you don't have to study uh you know um how to test user interface to to write many many bug reports um so um, number seven we are saying uh um Okay, let's see links copy copy links uh links below search results table where links below search results uh, table uh link to page five is missing. links to page five is missing very good um keep going uh open i don't want any steps here i'm sorry guys i, I just cannot waste my time on that um, in the search my invoices section, one of the search parameters is written with colon. The symbol can be either for all search parameters or nowhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just amazed uh, why you would use words um, which kind of have nothing to do with with what we are doing here i mean parameters um in the search my invoices section okay which is here um okay in search my invoices section here is the section yeah okay here is the search my invoices section here okay then what do we have uh we have um, one of the search parameters is written with colon. Those things are not called search parameters. They are called labels. Invoice number is a label. Customer is a label. Okay. Invoice number is a label to that field. Customer is a label to that list box okay um 
purchase order is a label to that field. Okay. So if you go to let's say Notepad and say a file, save, uh, let's say open. Okay. No, uh, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um, not open. Let's say file, save as. Okay. Here is the dialog box. It's a big one. Okay. Let's let's make it smaller. No, doesn't allow me. Okay, so we have file name. Okay, file name is a label, and it comes with colon. A save as type is a label. It comes with a colon. Okay, uh, encoding here. Encoding is a label to the list box. It comes with a colon. So the uh, when we think about graphic user interface rules. And we discuss that stuff uh, in our presentation. So it says labels, not search parameters. Labels should have colon at the end. And what you are saying here is um, one of search parameters is written with a colon. The symbol can be either for all search parameters or nowhere. That is when you do not know the rules of user interface. So you are appealing to consistency. I said, let's make it consistent. But we know the rules of uh, user interface as long as we watch um, session two uh, presentation. So uh, search my invoices section. Okay, let's do it in, not in there. Let's say search my invoices section. Okay. Uh, that is the location. Um, location. Uh, we said most of the labels are missing. Uh, colon at the end. Or you can say colon character. Okay, character. At the end, that's it. Okay. Um, file, save, keep going. Mm. Amount does not rank numbers from 100 to whatever in the amount column. Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Number nine. So, guys, that is exactly why we are uh, doing that exercise. So, we have amount column, amount, where, yeah, here it is. And that amount column uh, is uh, kind of problematic, it has multiple problems. Um, so, what is that? report about amount does not rank numbers from 100 to 1 million does not rank god knows what you mean under ranking numbers probably it's about sorting um, um, okay let's do it this way cut uh, let's say uh, sorting uh, problem problems in amount column okay. in amount column what kind what kind? what happened sorting problem where exactly exactly it is going to be um that uh, for yeah it is growing if I go that way, so it's, it's growing, 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 and then after 22, 4, uh, 409, we get smaller number. Okay, so um, so let's say um, okay, uh, okay, let's take this one. Copy now. Uh, the value goes in call in double quote. Uh, goes below below what goes below that one yeah 
goes below that one uh, goes below that one uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, the order uh, being opposite. I don't know, guys. Whichever way you uh, we uh, you put it, opposite. No, opposite. Opposite. I don't know. Should I? Do I need e? Uh, is there? Okay, let's keep it there. So um, that is one issue here, but it is not the only one. Uh, look at the down arrow here. The down arrow uh, points uh, to the fact that uh, it should go from a larger number to smaller number. Look at the order. The arrow goes down. Yeah. Um, there are two words which I have it from you here. Term, two terms to understand. Descending order, descending. It goes from big to small, descending. It is getting smaller, 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 smaller. Ascending. That is from small to big. It, it is larger, 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 larger. So um, that is the bug report uh, which we are going to write. We are going to say that uh, uh, amount column, amount column, copy, amount column uh, sorts, uh, amount sorting, okay, sorting order is so in reality it is going from sm small one to bigger one, yeah. So it is ascending. Order is ascending instead of uh, being uh, descending as per uh, as uh, de descending. Um, as per how to call that stuff as per uh triangle or let's say arrowhead yeah arrowhead oh god arrowhead arrowhead in the column title column column title instead of being descending as per arrowhead in the column title so that is uh, so we are complaining about sorting in the wrong order so one thing it is not consistent in sorting so things get you know screwed up but the order is wrong i mean it, it actually should, should be sorting in in the opposite order save guys are you with me Again, we do not need any rules of graphic user interface. The only, the only place where we used the rule was when we talked about the colon character, uh, which uh, uh, was not consistently implemented. Yeah? Other things, we just used common sense. And guys, if anybody will ask you ever, what is the primary quality of a, of a tester, you say common sense. And um, you might think that common sense is, is everywhere. No, guys, common sense is not common. Okay, just remember that stuff. Common sense is not really common. So, so not everybody can be a tester, yeah? Um, I mean, most of the people can, though. Not a big deal. Um, so some, some of you are typing here. Guys, so what are you typing about? Okay, let's take a look at extra group where can you find proper name for all items you see on a page um in the gui book um 
um, uh, just a second. It is a good question. So when you look at your page here, and it's, uh, it says, um, here is the book. Look at that book, the um, usability book. Um, so, and it comes with uh, a dictionary where it explains uh, different terms, but the best place which I know is uh, uh, is not here, but when you go to your class page, let's say here is your January 6th page, okay. Here is your class page, the one you will have access to when you pay the tuition. Um, yeah. Mm, uh, it has resources here, yeah. Here are resources here. And um, so you can go, um, you can go to Windows 7 book, Vista, Windows XP 2000. They all have brilliant definitions, explanations of all the thinkable controls. They have appendixes there with all the definitions. Uh, but again, you can take uh, books from, for uh, iOS, for Android, uh, and you will, see, you will see definitions, descriptions, different things besides us doing that today as well. It is a part of uh, what we are doing today. We are planning to do today, at least. Um, so uh, let's go to the bug reports here. So descending order, ascending order. I kept those two lines here because I knew we we're going to be uh, doing that bug report um, at some point. Uh, we might we might uh, get distracted a little bit and talk about the controls. <coughs> so I have some discussion here for you, which is about correct terminology, correct terminology. And in the rules of bug reporting, in the rules of bug reporting here, uh, one of the rules is uh, number four, use uh, technical uh, technical terminology uh, uh, not uh, op, not uh, uh, people of the street language or slang okay in bug reports people not people uh, of the street language. So terminology, we, we have to know the terminology. That is, I mean, yeah, it was kind of a good question. Um, so we have different controls and we have certain methods which we apply to different controls. So if you have a button in user interface, you have a button, you push the button. You do not click on the button. When you click, guys, when you click, where do you click? Uh, yeah. Click. Okay. Uh, no. When you click by mouse, you click on 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 a pixel on the screen, guys. See what I mean? There is a pixel. If that button is behind the pixel, so you click with mouse on that pixel, and if the but button is there, so that click will push the button click is what you do with the mouse click is not what you do with the button you use the mouse to click but that click goes to the pixel on the button and then button gets pushed okay so when you write a bug report uh, you don't care how exactly that uh, button was uh, pushed it might be pushed by a click you might say is there any other way absolutely you, you can use your um uh, space key for example uh, let me okay let's since we have notepad here yeah um let's do format uh font do we have anything here yeah okay guys look at that i will push the cancel button without using my mouse okay so uh, input focus is here in the font okay and i do tab 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 Cancel. So cancel button now has a tab on it, has, I'm sorry, input focus on it. So 
So I brought input focus uh, to that button. And now whatever I do on my keyboard will go to the cancel. So if I use the space key on the on my keyboard, I, I'm not sure. I mean, those of you who use the uh, who, who are looking at me, look me. I, I uh, so I will push and keep that button, uh, the space okay, key on the keyboard. Okay, boom. See, cancel button uh, shows um, shows you it was uh, press. Uh, it's called press and hold. Now I release it. Now it, it uh, cancelled. So there are certain ways of pushing the button which are not exactly clicking on them. Is it clear, guys? I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to make it clear. So I don't have to click on it. There are different ways. Uh, sometimes you can use the enter key, enter key on the keyboard to push the button. So um, technical terminology is button is the method you you apply to the button is a, you push them um, text field so what what do you do with text field you type type means you uh, type on the keyboard uh, you might say the same thing uh, saying input data uh, input data doesn't mean necessarily you do that of the keyboard you can input data by pasting uh, from somewhere you know but you can type, you can input data. Um, if it doesn't matter how exactly you put the data there, for example, you want to put uh, letters, letters in the zip code field. You don't have to say type, let types uh, letters into that field. You can say input. Whichever way you input, you, you might input uh, as a copy paste, you might input as a typing. I mean, I don't know, I, I don't care. Put them there. So text field. Characters in text field, you can select them. Not highlight, guys. You do not highlight. Highlight happens as a result of uh, text being selected. Look at that. So uh, I select the word highlight, and as a result of being selected, it gets highlighted. Label. So it is static. There is no action. Uh, you can apply to the label a checkbox. You can check, you can uncheck, or you can trigger. Trigger means I don't know which state it is, but just change it to the opposite. If it was checked, make it unchecked. If it was unchecked, make it checked. So you can check, uncheck, or trigger. Okay. List box item you can select. Combo box item you can select, and you can type. Actually, uh, you can. Type not into the item combo box. Mm, no, okay. Wait a second. Let me let me fix it, guys. Uh, combo box. If you have the combo combo box, um, combo box has uh, two um, parts. Um, again, going back to Notepad. Um, edit uh, font. Yeah, font is fine. Um, when you look at that font and uh, font style and size, those are combo boxes. So combo box has a text field, so you can type to the text field. Combo box has a list box, but they are synchronized. So whatever I type in the in the text field, let's say I type T, yeah, it follows. It, it brings me to the T times I, op, times neuron. See they are working together it is one control which contains two pieces so you can type to one part uh, or, or you can combo box uh, or you can select the item okay um mouse button you can click you can double click you can press release press release press release okay Keyboard key, you can press, release, hold, type, keyboard key. Yeah, type just, okay, type. Uh, menu item, you select, um, same as a combo box item. Uh, mouse pointer, so see, I have mouse pointer, which follows my mouse movements on, on my screen. 
So my mouse point, I can navigate mouse pointer over. So if I if I uh, navigate to, if I put it over the button, okay, I navigate it over the button, or I navigate it to a specific place in the text. Radio button, option button. So you select um, again since we use that one uh, find. Okay. So that is radio button or option button. You select, you select one of out of two. Okay. Uh, mouse, you drag and drop. You uh, drag and drop, you point, you you point with your mouse. Um menu bar okay here is the menu menus are a typical element of windows operating system still uh, many websites have menus uh, uh, for example if you go to portnov uh, .net yeah yeah you you have some some menu items here you have some menus so faq doesn't have menu items under but community does students does courses does so menu items could be implemented uh, in uh, in web on, on web pages as well but uh, historically it is a windows element windows operating system element and prior to windows it was in mac um, so menu bar menu bar is uh, is here so menu bar uh, contains file edit format view help the entire thing which keeps all of them is called menu bar um, then uh, file edit format there are menu titles there are menu titles and then under menu titles you have menu items they are menu items so here are the items um, okay Okay, if at any point it comes to a specific interest in that stuff, guys, so, so ask me, I will tell you exactly where you can find more. But it, it, it takes time, you know, you, you, have to, you have to spend certain time to um, better understand how it works. Um, so far, was it helpful? So we use that to uh, develop bug reports. So we, we want to use the language which everybody understands. And developers read books. You know, they, they, they know the names of controls. Yeah. OK. Um, so keep going. Yeah. Keep going. We stopped uh, right here. Yeah. Um. In okay, let's take that one. I like it. Um. So here is the problem. I will explain in in my own words, but so we better understand what that report is about. Um, it says here that invoices should be uh, does it talk about the amount um, from okay date it's about date okay it says that invoices should be from this date to that date so no later than September 30th but when you look at the invoice date here in the search results, you see one which is in October. So it's out, out, out of range, yeah, out of range. And that is what happened. So search result includes something which is out of range uh, where we specify the search uh, details. Uh, now, so what does it say here now? It says, invoices as support, uh, okay, okay, 
search uh, okay uh, where it happens it happens here it happens in uh, invoice date okay okay so um invoice dates are limited to to uh, from this to that okay are limited okay mm. or oh, let's say should be should be should be limited to while um, while um okay copy see i do not really type anything i'm whatever i can copy paste i copy paste to be more exact uh while uh -huh, is outside of that range again uh, uh, in in one hour uh, or maybe even in 10 minutes i might uh, report same problem differently so it doesn't mean really it, it it has to be the same each and every it's just a function of who i am at the moment okay Um, bum, 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 bum. So keep going. Energy Telecom Service Review. Not user friendly page, usually and technologically tab option. I mean, two questions. Who are you to judge? I mean, really. Number one. Number two, why in the world you do that? I mean, who asked you to judge anything? Are you a part of the class we, we are teaching here or just kind of accidentally came uh, to say hi and bye? And, uh, I mean, why? Why would you do that at all? Okay. Um, Colin's missing from all. Okay. Um, Okay, misspelled word. I don't want another misspelled word. Um, okay. Okay, that is nice. Uh, see, guys, what happens. Um, we have here uh, some inconsistency in uh, uh, date formats look what happens we have two places with dates one place is here where it says invoice date and that is the format see months day and year with slash slashes now and then we have another one here in the um, search results and then it, it's totally different so months uh, comes in letters instead of slashes we have dashes yeah dashes i, I mean and it's not the matter of uh, one being better or worse than another one it's a matter of inconsistency uh, mm, okay let's say okay invoice date format appears as a MDYY months day YY but search results format displays um, as the DD months let's let's keep it that way uh, let's keep it that way but it uh, the word inconsistency is missing here um, inconsistency 
inconsistency in uh, date formats formats compare compare um, invoice date uh, fields and uh, um, invoice date uh, column and uh, invoice date uh, column Okay. Uh, they are capable of seeing the differences, guys. Inconsistency in date format. Uh, well, maybe we put colon here. Compare invoice date fields and invoice date column. It's fine. So, I mean, I mean you do not talk to kids. You do not talk to idiots. You, you talk to people who know what they are doing, just you bring their attention to something which is obvious so that that is what i would do i mean the previous report was okay means uh, developers will understand what what it is about and they will fix it and uh, they are not going to ask him 10 questions to to uh, figure out what he meant no i mean it was it was a very clear um bug report actually i i just kind of as someone with experience okay i I felt I can do it nicer, maybe or whatever, just based on my personal experience. Um, okay. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find something which is new. Um, no. Mm, uh, fourth line. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, number 13. Fourth line in the status column. Fourth line in the status column. One, two, three, four. Okay, see what happens. Um, the icons here, icons have what is called, um, oh God, there is a word for that. It used to called balloon help. And now it is uh, called maybe probably tips. Tips. Um, okay. The, the word rejected. Okay. So the icon comes with the word rejected and that one is rejected. It, it is misspelled, but the, it is the right word. Then we have uh, icon paid. It has it um, help said paid, yeah. Tip tool tip. It's called tool tip, and it is paid in progress process. It is in process paid, and again paid is paid, but in uh, the icon is still paid. Should be same as this one. Should say paid, but in reality it says approved. So in that specific place, in that specific place, we have that kind of small thing. Uh, so status column, fourth uh, row, status column, fourth row. Okay, For, fourth line in uh, status status. Uh, column status column mm. Mm. the icon yeah the icon has wrong uh, has uh, approved uh, approved uh, tooltip tooltip instead of paid 
That's it. So you understand the problem, yeah? It's kind of a little thing. It's nice to notice, you know? Okay. No, uh, one, no. I don't know what, what you said. You don't, you don't understand what the problem was. That icon comes with its own tooltip. And instead of its own tooltip, which is... Uh, uh, which is... Um, it's tool, that, that icon uh, says should say paid. but and, and it says paid. Everywhere it says paid. But here... Uh, the tooltip is approved instead of being being paid. Yeah, that that is the bug. Is it GUI? It is user interface. Yeah. Is it correct to say when you hover over? Um, you you might say that, but you don't have to explain people how to see the tooltip. You place mouse over. I don't like the way the word hover uh, when you apply it to uh, to the user interface. Really, so you are not a bird to hover. Yeah? Um, so you again, you don't have to. You are saying a tool tip for such and such icon is uh, coming with the wrong verbiage. You you shouldn't ever explain anybody how to see the tool tip. Yeah, you shouldn't. Um, exactly, uh, last bug, is it GUI? It is the way it looks. So whatever is written is the way it looks. Missing characters or misspelled word or one word instead of another word. It is just the way it, it, it looks. It's not the way it works. See? There is no functionality there. So I would I would say it's a user. it is a user interface. Yeah. Please recommend terminology book. There is no specific book on terminology. So, but uh, the uh, books we have in the resources uh, on Android and iOS and Windows, and they all come with um, those things. So it's in there. You you will you will find it. Um, actually, we don't know what that means. Approved from user perspective side. You don't have to. You don't have to. And, and as I said, um, the beauty of um, user interface testing is you shouldn't know anything about how it works and how people use it. You just see that uh, an exact same icon, look, 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 what, look what we found here, an exact same icon looks like box looks like green money you know? same icon comes with uh, pretty much uh, same i mean pretty much everywhere it comes with exact same uh, tooltip with exception of one should you know how it is work how it is working should you on should you know how users will understand approved or pay or that? You are not in the in accounting business. I'm not in accounting business. Who cares? When it comes to functionality, when it comes to other things, so then your knowledge of accounting, your knowledge of requirements, your user experience, professional experience might kick in. But so far, we are, I, I don't care what it means. I don't care what people might think about it. I'm just telling you, it is not consistent. And it isn't good enough to write a bug report. Um, pretty good. Guys, we, I, I think we've done a lot uh, today in terms of um, 422 invoices do not correspond correctly to the amount. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Copy. Um, what I would uh, say... Um, Number 14. What I would say about 422 invoices here, um, I do not like that that label here. 
showing 422 invoices. I would like to see it in a more common way. I would say, uh, I would say replace, replace 422 invoices with with showing one to ten of four twenty two invoices. The next one will say eleven to twenty, uh twenty one to thirty, uh thirty one to forty, yeah. Showing first 10 of 422. That is that is very common. It's everywhere. Uh, it is a kind of part of the uh, good um, uh, practice um, exercised by everybody. I mean, so that is that one is more like a suggestion. Yeah, that one is more like a suggestion. Uh, it's not a bug per se, but it is an improvement. So uh, if we think about a uh, bug report being uh, a validation versus verification, guys, you tell me, that specific bug report, is it verification uh, bug report or is it validation bug report? So is it about implementation of requirements or is it about suggestion uh, how to make the requirements better? So verification or validation, what do you think? Validation, yeah, it cannot be both, sorry. It cannot be both. It is on validation side. So, I mean, it's not like there is a requirement and that requirement is violated. It's just, just kind of sloppy stuff, you know, old fashioned. And we're saying, hey, let's include that into the rules of the game, yeah? Okay, we have extra validation, good. Um, okay. okay, guys, we go to the next one. Uh, hopefully, we're going to find some. Now... Yeah, uh, you 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 are reporting the same bugs all over the place. So I'm just trying to kind of uh, find something we didn't report yet. So if guys, if if you cannot find more, it's fine. Um. It's fine. Okay, so I think we are we've done a pretty good job, guys. Uh, not to mention that uh, you have the forum with uh, many more bugs, and uh, since those many more bugs are reported by fellow students, so they might not be good ones. But um, what I would suggest you to do as a part of your homework, guys, whatever you reported here rewrite it do it again following what we have uh, what you have learned today okay we did some stuff today and so let me remove then energy telecom from here guys we're going to do a lot uh things with energy telecom uh in the future uh if you look at that january 6 uh, your class so we have session four we talk about bug tracking, bug, uh, bug reporting. Then we go to energy telecom requirements, uh, functionality testing. Then uh, we move to test. Yeah, then we move to test cases and mastering test cases and so on. So uh, we we will talk about functionality testing of energy uh, telecom later on. So we we have some work to to do. Um, so I think we are pretty much done uh, for today.
uh, unless you have questions and I'm, I'm here to answer the questions and whatever is related to um, enrollment so guys you can ask uh, in the port of online um, skype chat uh, what's here so some links here mm. help me please with homework where i need find homework and where i need leave my answers aha uh -huh. so maxim you uh, my, my suggestion to you is maxim go over session one and then session two and uh, so all, all your questions were answered already and you've seen where the answers are they are on the school forum you you've seen it so um and again whatever you might not uh, clearly uh, understand ask um, ask in the chat uh, ask me directly and uh, i mean go to portnoff online either myself or irina will will answer that okay so we are pretty much done then um verification would you give example of verification versus validation? verification means you have requirements and they are not properly implemented so you write a bug report that is most of the work testers do requirements being or not being properly implemented validation means you look at the requirements you ask to change requirements to add more things to requirements uh, to clarify certain requirements and so on yeah requirements could be we, we studied that requirements could be contradictory uh ambiguous uh, so on so that that kind of work so clarifying the requirements is is a part of what we what's included in software testing so that is one of the things we do uh, as uh, qa people how to phrase that amount is written blah 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 instead of blah 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 you will say replace replace the uh, one with another one for example just if you know exactly how it should be done just tell them replace uh, where is this located software testing chapter 18 there is a book and uh, um, so we, we will we will come to that so i just don't want to make it a part of the overall discussion in payment column we have digits can we say they are ambiguous digits are ambiguous uh, because doesn't show value except year of payments um when i was talking about ambiguity i was talking about requirements so requirements might be ambiguous so uh, different people might interpret them differently uh, if you talk about something on a page um, i'm not sure i mean it might be ambiguous to the user who will not uh, who will have some room for interpretation but you are not in that type of testing now and it is not what you, what i mean really what, what we are doing here in the class i mean eventually it might be might be the case but it is a kind of rare rare thing i mean you need rare circumstances to talk about ambiguity in something on the page uh, do we need to mention that table headings and data cells should be centered all together to be easier to read um it is something which might be a part of the requirement or you might report write something like a validation report asking to make it uh, adjusted to the right to the left to to the uh, you know decimal point whatever um, how i can see exactly next session but not only video library i have paid and approved for the class already thank you so you go to the class page i mean what what do you mean you go to the class page and i gave you the class page today and if you if you don't know where the class page is, page is ask yeah so we have the class page um it, it is it is given to you in the in the notes file today 
uh, it's right here. Yeah, here is here is your class page. I don't know what what to say, but uh, and it is and a recording is going to be uh, posted within maybe a couple of hours, so you will you will see the video and the file file is going to be there in five minutes. So, um, okay, guys, it's time to for us who pay it as well. Automation starts next month. Um, guys, you have schedule and uh, you look at uh, when automation start. Yeah. Um, for for everybody who is in the class. So what what can I say? We have 20 hours of automation in our curriculum. So out of 100 hours, 20 hours are on automation. We teach automation on Wednesdays, 7 to 9 Pacific Standard Time. Time Timing is a little bit different because we have a teacher who cannot do it, uh, you know, earlier. So he, he can do it at, at 7. So 7 to 9. We have 10 Wednesdays. Uh, each Wednesday, two hours on automation. So altogether, 20 hours. Is it professional to report lots of small bugs like misspellings? Listen, is it professional to have misspellings on, on your website or web page or your application? It's ugly. It is very unprofessional to have things like that. I mean, people look at your application and it looks like a crap. Um, will I be added to extra chat a little bit later? Correct. Uh, if you uh, are our graduate and you want to repeat the class, you will go to the extra uh, chat. You can. If you are part of that class and you pay tuition for that class, you don't need extra uh, extra chat. You will be in uh, January 6 final, that one. You will be in that one. And you will be in uh, January 6 final informal. So here are the two chat. Extra, uh, extra 2022 is for people who graduated already and they just want to, to repeat the class. Um, what about people who retake in the class when we will be approved on the part of that to see further homework? If you are retaking the class, you are already having your account. You, you don't need anything. I mean, you just go, uh, go to the class page and you can ask to be included into the informal chat. But you don't have to re-register re again. You are registered. You already have access to all the past, current, and future resources. Uh, okay. So, guys, thank you very much. And I think we are kind of um, going outside of the scope of things uh, for that specific session. Why I cannot see session five and all the rest sessions, even I paid already. You have your account have to be approved has to be approved, and uh, you have to go to the to the correct um, uh, page. Yeah, it is a different page. Uh, God, I don't know. Should I should I give you a link? Okay, uh, try that link. Try that link if you can see anything there. So then, if you pay, you will you will see all the entire uh, class there. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It was my pleasure uh, uh, to be with you um, for three sessions. Um, I really appreciate the trust uh, you put in, in our program. So I appreciate the time you spent uh, trying to figure out if uh, what we do fits into your vision of your future. And uh, I mean, if you join us, uh, I'll be even more, more happy because that is how we change the world. Uh, but uh, if it doesn't uh, really feel like you want to be a part of it, it's also fine. It's, um, at least you know what it is and uh, you make the conscious decision. You, you learn something which allows you to say, okay, it is not what I want. It is not where I see myself and so on, which is, I consider to be very, very useful. 
as well. And again, um, uh, whatever uh, that page is going to be, uh, the, class, the class page for three sessions is going to be there forever. And so you can always go and uh, watch, rewatch, and so on, kind of refresh if you want to. That's it. Uh, how to contact Yelena? I don't know who is Yelena. We have uh, um, Irina. Irina. You contact Irina by writing to the Portnov online chat. So Irina is there and myself. So both of us, we are, we are there. Okay. Uh, you can specifically say, Irina, I want to ask you. Yeah, sure. If you do not refer your question to a specific person, then uh, I can answer, she can answer. So there, is, there is no um, specific pointer. Okay. Oh, I, um, Irina says you can, all, uh, you can also call her or you can talk to her. Uh, you can write your uh, SMS. Uh, Irina, uh, may I ask you then to write uh, your contact information to the chat? So they, I mean, people who are not right now, but maybe in, uh, after I finish, write to the chat uh, your contact information. So guys, you are very welcome to call Irina with all the questions. You are very welcome to, um, um, to send her a message. And um, I mean, all, all, all the ways um, and uh, you want to use, so they are, they are welcome. And we also have a phone number on the uh, portnov.net, um, I think, website, yeah? Portnov. Uh, dot net supposed to be here. yeah so here here is the phone number here I mean you you can always call so that that phone is in Irina's hands so she she will answer you can call her right there okay again now is last time okay uh, um, thank you very much and uh, we are finishing. Mm, session number three and uh, so let's continue with those who will come to the mm, session number four thank you